to estimate the melting temperature of naphthalene using the Joback method, we start the Dortmund Data Bank software here with the jump start, and now we would go to property estimation and choose the program package artist. Now here, this is the main window of artist, and we see the drawing window in here. Now we could easily just take a benzene ring, place it in here. So I first uh, clicked in, kept the mouse button down, and can now move the benzene ring as I like. And when I have the final position, I just release the mouse button. Now I can go to this. You see there is a green dot now on the bond, so we are at the moment capturing this bond. I press the left mouse button again, move the mouse down, and in this position, just release. So we have naphthalene, and now we could go to calculate, calculate, and here under phase equilibria, freezing point, we find the Joback method. I could directly enter calculate now, and we get a result of 261.58 Kelvin, which is more than 90 degrees away from the 353.35 Kelvin, which were uh, given uh, in the literature. So, uh, generally, me uh, melting point estimations can be very faulty. Uh, here we get a de detailed result text, and here we can see there are two different groups, 8 times the group number 14, which is this uh, C double bond, single bond, and with a hydrogen on, and there are two groups with no hydrogen on with other two bridge carbons. Uh, the Joback method, as we can see the result grid, uh, used um, the no additional data under use data, so it was only the structure, but it does not also not use any symmetry. And this is one of the reasons that this method is not very good, because in the uh, melting point, the symmetry of the molecule is of quite some importance, different than, for example, for the normal boiling point. 